with the rise of live streaming, the current live streams have become increasingly rich. Among them, the carefully designed screen layout is indispensable. The good news is, multi-views is one of the core features of YOLO Box. In this video, we will detail the presentation effects, setting process, and applicable scenes of each layout. Now we have opened the operation panel on YOLO Box. The multi-view menu can be seen by clicking on Add Video Source in the bottom right corner. After clicking this button, if you are an Ultra user, you can directly see this menu on the right. If you are a pro or mini user, you need to scroll down the page. Multi-views is at the bottom of the page. Compared to YOLO Box Pro and Mini, Ultra has added two types of three views and one type of four views. Let's talk about the only layout of four views first. When an eSports live stream needs to simultaneously display the commentator's booth, audience seats, in-game perspective, and the equipment and economy of the participating teams, the four views screen layout is extremely important. Click on four views, select four video sources, then click done. Next, I can freely decide the background of this layout and also adjust the border thickness and color of each video source. At the same time, I can adjust the size of each video source. Once everything is confirmed, click done in the upper right corner. Then I can see the newly appeared four views video window in the lower left corner. When you need to do a tutorial or game commentary, that is, the main screen is another screen, such as an ongoing game, a research report, or a computer interface, and the podcast will also have a separate small video layer in the screen, PyP Video would be the most appropriate layout. After selecting two video sources, I can change the shape of the subscreen, adjust the scale of the small video frame, as well as adjust the thickness and color of the border. Swap Video can switch the subscreen and the background screen. If you want to cut out a portrait from the original screen and place it in the lower right corner of the screen, just like this, please follow my operations carefully. First, we need a green screen or blue screen shot. Locate this camera window, click on the little gear icon in the upper right corner of the video window. Next, you will see the chroma keying option. In this option, after sliding to turn on the key switch, you can achieve a one key cutout. You can reduce the cutout defects by adjusting the similarity and smoothness. If you are using a blue screen, you need to change the key color type to blue. An additional suggestion to ensure a good cutout effect, please avoid wearing green when using a green screen and avoid wearing blue when using a blue screen. Next, return to the main page. In accordance with what we've discussed before, enter the PIP video settings page. Directly slide the border thickness to the far left end. This way, you can achieve the desired final effect. Personally, compared to solid borders, I prefer borders with a semi-transparent halo effect. Although Yolo Box does not have this border style option, I can achieve this effect by combining the overlays feature. First off, it's essential to import the aperture image into the image overlays. Following that, in the PIP video's parameter settings, we select the circular shape for the subscreen and adjust the border thickness to zero. Lastly, we head over to the operation area of overlays, locate the aperture image in the image overlays, and tweak the size and position of the image to ensure it aligns perfectly with the portrait layer. And with that, we have successfully completed our task. Split view and two views, I can greatly enhance the effectiveness of your information delivery. For instance, when a presenter is interpreting an article and comes across unfamiliar concepts or vocabulary that require further explanation, they can use these two layouts to display two screens at the same time. These layouts not only makes the presenter's teaching more coherent, but also prevents unexpected incidents from occurring during the page switching process. The only difference between split view and two views is that in split view settings, the separator angle can be adjusted. Many people may be confused about the appropriate scenarios to use this visual parameter. Personally, using different separator angles can change the narrative framework of the live broadcast. When I change the default separator angle, 
my layout can be used to showcase the conflict or disagreement between the two roles in the live content. Well, the operation process is quite simple. After clicking on the layout and selecting the target video sources, you can adjust relevant visual parameters such as border thickness, border color, etc. in the settings interface. Of course, similarly, if you need to introduce new concepts through the display of other visual materials during the process of explaining knowledge points and also need to present mind maps, mathematical formulas, or other information on the writing board, you can use three views I. What's more, considering that the scale of the video sources cannot be adjusted in this layout for the time being, if you need to enlarge or reduce your materials, I personally would not recommend importing PDFs directly via SD card or USB. Instead, you can import your materials through inputs such as SRT, HDMI, or USB-C. Side-by-side -side is a commonly used layout. When you need to have a dialogue with your guest during a live stream, side-by-side -side might be the most suitable screen layout. Additionally, compared to split view and two views I, if you're conducting a knowledge-based or educational live stream and need to brand your live stream, side-by-side -side might be a better choice, because in this layout, you can customize and display the background. When you need to introduce your invited guests during a live stream, there are several suitable layouts for this segment. To elaborate, if the guests are using a vertical camera, then two views, two and three views two would be the best choices. If the guests are using a horizontal camera, then side by side and three views four would suffice. If some guests use a horizontal camera and some use a vertical camera, then three views three could serve as an alternative option. The parameter settings for this are essentially consistent with those of side by side, meaning you can adjust the border thickness, border color, scale, swap video, as well as customize the background. News layout is particularly useful when you're looking to present a structured and dynamic news content. Generally speaking, in this layout, the large box on the left is used to display the news content while the small box on the right carries the host's camera. You can switch the positions of the two boxes by using the swap video feature. Additionally, you can not only customize the background, but also adjust the background image opacity. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more insightful content. Also, don't forget to join our Facebook user group where lots of our customers share their user cases. Last but certainly not least, if you have any questions or would like to know more about YOLO Live, you can contact us via email at contactayololive.com. If your need is urgent, you can call us at plus 86 137 358 If you need to express your needs through pictures or videos, you can also contact us via WhatsApp. The number is still plus 86 137 Keep experimenting with these settings to find your perfect setup and happy recording.